In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a repository fork of the XGML development source code and also collaborate with other XGML developers and their GitHub forks. The first thing I need to do is create a GitHub account and then log in to the uh, GitHub XGML Bridgepoint repository. You can see the URL here in my browser address bar. From here, I create a fork. I click the fork button and select my user. Once the fork is created, I have the same repository and you'll notice it's under my user account. The next thing I need to do is pull this repository down to my local development environment. In order to do that, I'm going to switch to Eclipse. From here, I open the Git Repository Exploring Perspective. If this is not already visible, you can use Window Open Perspective in the menu selection. The next thing I need to do is clone the Git Repository. And we're going to clone the repository that I just created. So it's under my user account, bridgepoint.git. Then of course I have to enter my GitHub account information. One thing to note as always is you do not want your local repository to be under your workspace, your Eclipse workspace that is. So I've chosen a location that's outside of my Eclipse workspace and I select finish. This will take a moment. Once the process completes, you'll see the repository show up here in my repositories view. And if we expand the remotes, I have a repository named Origin, and it points to my fork of the Bridgepoint repository. After the repository is pulled down to my local machine, then I want to import the projects. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to set up another remote that will allow me to track changes to the mainline repository that I originally forked from. To do that, I select Remotes and Create Remote. And I'm going to configure it for fetch, so I can fetch changes to that repository. <clears throat> and since it's from the XTUML organization, I'm simply going to name it XTUML. And the URI will be the URI of the XTML uh, Bridgepoint repository. So in this case, I replace my username with XTUML and then I'll save and fetch. The new remote shows up here under the remotes list and if I expand the remote tracking you'll see that it pulls the information for those uh, branches against the mainline repository. Now I have a friend who is also an XTML developer and I want to track and see what changes he's making as well. So I'm going to create another remote and I'm going to configure it to fetch changes and I enter his username in the URI location. Now I can see all the other people who have created forks of the XTML repository by clicking on the, the fork list here and I, GitHub shows me a network graph and my friend Court 
has his own fork and that's the one I'm going to track. So I enter the proper URI and save and fetch. And the information for his branches is pulled down. Now I can create branches or compare branches uh, between any of these uh, points on the network graph, just as I would if everything was local. So this allows me to collaborate as well as um, watch and stay up to date with what's happening against the original mainline repository. Now if I had a local branch that I had worked on and I wanted to prepare it to uh, have the changes pulled up to the mainline uh, master in the XTML repository, the first thing I would need to do is make sure I was in sync with the XTML master repository. So I would select to fetch and then fetch from XTML. And this would tell me if I had changes that were fetched to my repository or not. And then from there, I could merge the XTML master into my local branch. And that would bring any changes that went in the mainline code into my local branch. And then I would be ready to submit a pull request. So on GitHub, I could select pull requests on my repository and select new pull request. And this dialog would be populated with any of my branches that GitHub knew about. So the, <clears throat> the my repository would be here and then the branch that I wanted to have a pull request made for, I could select here. And then the target for the pull request, I choose here. And then I could submit this and the owner of the XTML repository would get a notification that a pull request was ready to be made. And they would have the choice to pull my changes into the mainline repository.